Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sir Razzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, we're going to be talking about refraction. So, what exactly is refraction? It's basically this. Let's say you are a beam of light and you're traveling through air. This is you. You're traveling through air right now. You're happy you're traveling through air. But then, you're going to cross a boundary and enter a new material, which is called a new medium. What's going to happen is, something will happen to your speed and direction. So, we've got to do a couple of things before we actually look at what happens. Let's draw the normal, so this is the boundary. This bit over here is called the boundary. The boundary between the two mediums, so air first and glass. Right, what happens is as I go from air to glass, we're going to change direction. The wave is going to change direction. So let's first of all drop the normal. This is the normal as always. This is the normal. Right, so the wave is going to not continue along the same path, it's going to move closer to the normal. Can you see that ray of light is now closer towards the normal? Let's call this angle over here I, and this angle over here is going to be R. I, in this case, is going to be the angle of incidence. And R is going to be the angle of, not reflection, but refraction now. Angle of refraction. Okay, so we know that as it goes from air into glass, it's changed direction. But why has it changed direction? It has changed direction because the speed has decreased. Because I'm traveling through air, I can move quite fast. But now I'm traveling through glass, it's going to be quite difficult for me to move. Therefore, my speed will decrease. So, it bends towards a normal, and the velocity, or the speed of the wave, will decrease. So, there's two things which happen in refraction. Number one is that it will change direction when it enters a new medium. And also, when it enters a new medium, the speed will change. So, refraction is going to be, let's write down the formal definition, it is going to be the change in speed of a wave, the change in speed and direction of a wave as it enters a new medium. A new medium. Wonderful, so that is what refraction is. So let me just connect those bits here. There we go. So the definition is over here. Box that, and we're happy. Easy stuff. Right, so this is in this example, we can see we're going from air into glass. But now, what happens if we start to look at other examples? Maybe when we're going from, let's say, glass to air, what happens then? So let's scroll down. So now, on the left-hand side, less dense to more dense. So if I'm going through air into water now, first of all, which is denser? So we're going from air into water. Right, if I'm going from less dense to more dense, think about it, water is more dense than there, it's going to bend towards the normal. So let's drop that over here. And it bends towards the normal. Can we see it's now closer towards that normal? Yeah, easy stuff. Actually, let, let's just do a, let's, let me do that a bit sharper for you. So it's going to go from there to there. See, it's much clearer now, it's closer towards the normal. But what happens if I go from more dense to less dense? So let's say if I'm going from water into air. So we've got a ray of light traveling through water. It's going to hit the boundary. Let's draw the normal once again. I'm going from water into air. So if I go from more dense to less, I'm not going to bend towards the normal. I'm going to bend away from the normal. So I'm going to bend away from the normal over here. There we go. We can clearly see the difference. So to summarize, Less dense to more dense, I will bend towards the normal. Oh, and what's happening to the speed? Air into water, my speed will decrease. And if I'm going from water to air, I'm going to speed up. So my speed will increase. Wonderful. Right, so that's it for refraction today. Let's scroll down and have the summary. Summary, it's going to be, refraction is the change in speed and the direction of a wave 
as it travels into a new medium, such as air to glass, glass to air, or even glass to water. Right. Um, if the wave is going from less dense material to more dense, you bend towards the normal and my speed decreases. So less dense to more dense, my speed will decrease and I bend towards the normal. If I'm going from more dense to less dense, I will bend away from the normal and the speed will increase. And we get those diagrams from before. Make sure we're happy with that. So as the change in medium occurs, my speed will change and also the direction. And that's it for another session today. I shall see you next time for more cool physics. Ciao, ciao.